and welcome back vlogmas day seven i just landed in minneapolis i didn't tell you guys but i'm going to watch mary compete at the american open this year the american open just happens to be in orlando but since she lives only about six hours away i'm flying into atlanta tonight and then tomorrow afternoon we're going to drive down to Orlando and she lives at 8.30 a.m. If you're interested in watching, which you definitely should be, I'll leave a link in the down bar below. I'm very excited to be leaving this very, very cold part of the United States. I think when I was like waiting for my luggage after I got off the plane, I could see my breath and it was awful. And then Nick checked the weather and next week it's supposed to be like in the single digits. And in Orlando, it's supposed to be like 65. And I don't even know what that feels like anymore. I'm pretty sure it's been weeks since Wisconsin has seen the sun. And I'm just so excited to GTFO out there. Also, I'm just gonna say that I'm on one of those like walking escalator elevator things. And the first time that I have been on one of these was a couple years ago when I flew into Minneapolis for the first time. And they're still my favorite. They're amazing and I love them. Okay, I'm gonna sit here and chill and vlog, and then I'm gonna edit the vlog, and then probably buy a book, read it, get on the plane, fall the F asleep, and then land in Atlanta at around 11 p.m. tonight. Mary's gonna pick me up, we're gonna go to bed. I'm really excited to be going to the AL, even though I'm not competing, because ever since I went to universities, I feel like it like opened up this like giant floodgate for me, and I like saw what like, real weightlifting is even though universities is like a pretty it's, it's like a low it's a national meet but it's a low caliber national meet and I've been infatuated with the AL ever since I started weightlifting two years ago and I said that it was like always in my eight-year goal to go to the AL and compete at it I'm so excited to watch because there's gonna be so many 53s there there's gonna be 58s and 63s and 69s and a bunch of people and like literally hundreds of of really good weightlifters like quality weightlifting sessions are going to be happening and it's in Orlando the sunshine the sunshine state I'm so happy to be going and blessed to like even have time to go I was originally supposed to be working this weekend at the assisted living home but since I'm only every other weekend I'm so excited to go and uh, watch everybody weightlift it's just really awesome to have the feeling that you can basically well, besides school really holding me back and finances I guess I can basically go anywhere I want whenever I want with nobody tying me down and it's a really awesome feeling those are my plans for the next couple days and then next week is the last people are like literally just running around all the airport but next week is the last week of classes and then uh, my last final is on the 20th that night I fly out to Arizona I'm gonna stay there for a couple weeks come back to lacrosse work for a couple days because I'm scheduled to work and then fly back to Arizona for a couple weeks and then come back for classes to start. So I'll be doing a lot of traveling in the next month, which I'm really grateful for too. If it wasn't for my parents moving, I wouldn't get to experience all these new cities all the time and really appreciate my home, I guess. Yeah, so I've lived in Wisconsin ever since I was about four years old. So that's almost 20 years that I've lived in Wisconsin. And when I was 18, I always thought that I wanted like, I was like, as soon as I turn 18, I'm moving out of my parents' house. I'm going to move somewhere warm. I'm going to go to California. I'm going to move to Florida. I'm going to go to Hawaii. Like, I do not live in Wisconsin anymore. Like, it's a horrible state. But ever since I've traveled to, like, all these different states in the past, like, couple years or, like, throughout my whole life, I've learned to really appreciate Wisconsin. Everybody, for the most part, is really nice. The weather is really bad in the winter, obviously, because it gets down to, like, single digits and negative digits. But I wouldn't take where I live for granted, where I came from, the people that I've met and made me who I am today. But I'm always grateful for, for new opportunities to be traveling to other states and hopefully soon other countries. Yeah, there my rant is over. I'm just like sitting in this hallway talking to you guys. And after, I'm gonna go get some dinner and then pick up a new book to read. I was reading, um, what was I reading? I was reading To Go Set a Watchman. And I was gonna bring it on this flight, but I flipping forgot. So then on the first flight, which is only about 45 minutes from La Crosse to Minnesota, I was basically just like closing my eyes and pretending to sleep because I had literally nothing to do. But now I definitely have something to do. I'm gonna go find some good food, hopefully some worth mashed potatoes so I can pig out. 